Hi everyone, my name is April and I'm gonna show you how to make this awesome paper mache heart collage that you can hang up on the wall. This is a great gift to give someone for Valentine's Day or just a fun project for you to decorate your room with. Let's get started. Here are the materials you'll need to get started. The first thing you want to do is design your heart shape and cut it out. Then find a piece of cardboard that will fit the size of your heart and tape it onto the cardboard. Then take an X-Acto knife and cut out the heart. Take a plastic bag and wrap it over one side of the heart, and then stuff the bag with crumpled newspaper. Continue stuffing the bag until you're satisfied, and tape down the bag as you go to hold everything in place. Once you're done with one side, get another plastic bag and repeat the same thing. Then I fill up the middle with newspaper and tape it down. I'm also using less and less newspaper as I get to the bottom. Take a third plastic bag and cover up the middle section. Lastly, poke two holes in the back of the heart to insert the wire. I made my holes low enough so the wire won't be seen. Then just bend the wire and insert it into the hole. Bend the other side of the wire and trim the rest off. Now we are ready to paper mache. Here are the materials you'll need to get started. First things first, you need to rip a bunch of newspaper strips. Then create your paper mache paste by adding one cup of flour, two cups of water, and a little bit of salt into a bowl. Now we are ready to paper mache. Take a strip of newspaper and drench it into the mixture. Using your fingers, slide the excess batter off and then lay it down onto the heart. Continue doing this until the heart is completely covered in newspaper. Then you want to go back and add about 3 more layers of newspaper on top before you let it dry. Now you can let it dry overnight, which is what I did, but it took too long so I used a blow dryer to speed up the process. Once your heart is completely dry, you want to add more layers of newspaper on top. Just make sure to let every layer dry first before you add more on top. The more layers you add, the stronger your heart will be. I actually don't even remember how many layers I did. I just kept doing it until I felt like it was enough.
When you're finished and the heart is completely dry, take some sandpaper or this sand block thing I'm using and smooth out all the rough areas to prepare the surface for your pictures. Here are all the pictures I printed out. At first, I cut out each picture and left a white border around them, but then I didn't like how it looked, so I cut them off. The glue I'm using is called rubber cement, and there's a certain way you're supposed to use it. First, brush the glue onto the surface, and then onto the back of the picture. Let both dry until it starts to feel tacky, and then you can place the picture onto the heart. What I did was apply the glue all over the heart and on multiple pictures and let them dry together. This way you can quickly lay them down afterwards. The best way to start your collage is by placing pictures randomly all over the heart and then start filling up the space in between. If the edges of your picture start to lift up, just go back and reapply some glue and remember to let it dry first before pressing it down. You will eventually have to overlap pictures and when you do, don't be afraid to place glue on top of the pictures. As you get closer to finishing, you'll have to cut your picture smaller to fill up the smaller areas. The cool thing about leaving the newspaper as the background is that it looks like it's part of the collage. So if you have some areas that aren't completely covered, it still looks okay. Once you're done with gluing the pictures down, make sure to rub off any dried up glue on the pictures with your fingers or a rubber cement eraser. Lastly, I sprayed a couple layers of this Mod Podge sealer all over the heart to protect the pictures and get rid of any tackiness. Now it's ready to be given to someone special or hang up in your room. in between darling you and me make this thing complete we go thank you all so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this sweet diy and if you decide to try this out don't forget to share with me on facebook twitter or instagram bye Praying i won't